So, have you made up your mind? Ready to give in just yet? So stubborn. There is no need for you to give me your usual speech about resisting. I know it inside out. I know you far too well by now. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to capture you this time around. Hmm? Oh, you know. All I want is one word. One little word to come out of your mouth, and all of this can come to an end. All you have to do is say you surrender, and I can get you untied and out of here at last. Doesn't that sound so simple? Ah, you don't really understand it, do you? If I wanted to get rid of you, I would have done so already. I don't think you are exactly in the position to fight me off. But I don't want you gone, darling. I want you alive and well. I want you to share your really helpful secrets with me. So I can finally fix this city the way I want. This part, the part where you go on about how this definitely won't work, is always my favourite. That's so much about what I like about you. You're so resilient, even when it doesn't make sense. There is still time for you to surrender, time for you to give in of your own accord. Think about how powerful we'd be if we worked together. Not one person would be able to stop us. <sighs> I suppose it is just like you to make it hard on yourself. Not to worry. Everything will be so much easier once I have you under my control. Already I can't wait to see all your courage melt and bend into helpless loyalty. Deny it all you want, my dear. We have all the time in the world to have a nice long talk. I am sure by the end of it you will agree that I can be very persuasive. Oh, you really don't believe this will work? You really don't believe I can get into your head and scramble those pretty thoughts until they all revolve around me? Then... Want to try to resist me? Want to try and resist my mind control? Because, actually, I am not going to hypnotize you at all. You are going to hypnotize yourself. That's right. You are going to be an accomplice in your own downfall. Your mind will decide just how much it wants to follow along with my words. And believe me when I say, it will follow along really well. Fight it if you want. I really want to see you try keeping those thoughts out of your head. Keep out of your head thoughts of breathing in and out, slowly and deeply. 
Breathing deeply in and out. Try not to think about breathing slowly in and out. Maybe you'll try and think about something else and keep the thought of your deep breaths firmly out of your mind. Whatever you do, you definitely shouldn't think about your feet on the floor here. Don't think to yourself how your feet are becoming heavy and relaxed. Don't let the thought take hold of your brain. Don't let yourself think, my feet are becoming heavy and relaxed. Heavy and relaxed. Don't repeat the phrase in your mind, feet heavy and relaxed. Don't focus on your breathing as your feet become heavy and relax and they sink into relaxation breathing slowly in and out feet heavy and relaxed take your thoughts and your focus elsewhere Think about something else. Don't think about the relaxation spreading all the way to your legs. Don't take a deep breath in for me as your legs become heavy and relaxed and sink just like your feet have. Don't think my legs are becoming heavy and relaxed. Legs heavy and relaxed. That's right. Legs and feet heavy and relaxed. Don't let my words lead your thoughts to just how heavy and relaxed your legs are. Don't let them fill the cracks in your thoughts as you take a deep breath in and think about the relaxation spreading up to your stomach and chest. You really don't want to do that, do you? You really don't want to be good for me and think about taking deep breaths and feeling the air rushing into your chest before it sinks and becomes heavy and relaxed. My chest is becoming heavy and relaxed. Just like your legs and feet. You really should be thinking about anything else at all. You don't want your mind to betray you like this and follow all the pleasant suggestions to make you heavy and relaxed. But listen to this and don't focus on the relaxing sensations in your body. It is up to your mind 
whether it accepts and follows my suggestions, which it really shouldn't do. Don't take a deep breath in for me and think about your arms hanging limply to your sides, at the sides of your chest that you don't want to become heavy and relaxed. Don't think my arms and hands are heavy and relaxed, limp, heavy, relaxed, just like your feet are heavy and relaxed. You don't want the relaxation spreading to your legs and stomach and chest and arms. You should resist. Don't think. You don't want your thoughts to keep you heavy and relaxed. Relaxed for me as your mind works with me to make you heavier, heavier, deeper down as you relax, relax. You really should be thinking about anything else, shouldn't you? You shouldn't be letting your mind hypnotize you into being heavy and relaxed and sinking, sinking for me. But even as you try and take your thoughts elsewhere, you just find them getting pulled back again into relaxing, relaxing your whole body, starting from my feet are heavy and relaxed, feet heavy and relaxed. My legs are heavy and relaxed and your thoughts begin swinging back and forth between relaxing and not relaxing. My chest is getting heavy and relaxed back and forth. Resist. You should be resisting. You shouldn't be following. You should be resisting the suggestions in your mind to become heavy and relaxed. It's up to you to consider just how much you accept. At this moment, it's up to you whether you accept and follow through with my commands and suggestions to relax. Decide whether to put all your thoughts in resisting my commands to relax your feet. Relax your legs. Relax your chest. Relax your arms. But think about this and just how much I've suggested that you should resist. You shouldn't relax and accept that as you listen, there are some parts of my commands and suggestions already getting through. Don't 
think about it though. Don't let your mind fall into the trap of breathing in, relaxing, listening to my soothing words. I am trying to help you resist, after all. I am not the one hypnotizing you. Your mind is doing all the heavy lifting and hypnotizing you for me. So you should trust me because I am not hypnotizing you. You should resist the thoughts to relax your feet and breathe in and relax your legs and drop deeper and deeper and accept my suggestions to resist. Don't let your thoughts circle back to relaxing. Because you don't want to relax, do you? You want to resist your thoughts as they swing back and forth and make your whole body deeper and heavier. Or maybe you shouldn't trust my words as they coax your mind into not relaxing and thinking about not relaxing. Think about resisting me instead. Think about resisting everything I say. So. If you resist my suggestions to not relax, you should relax and let your feet and legs and chest and arms get heavier and heavier. Give your mind something else to think about. Think about resisting me and not letting your mind fall deeper and deeper into hypnotizing yourself. Don't let your mind think about relaxing. Think about resisting me instead. So if I told you to sleep you'd find yourself resisting and staying awake for me. If I told you to stay awake, you'd want to relax and go to sleep, sleep, sleep. So you should resist and resist when I tell you to not do something, and when I tell you to not obey, you should obey as you resist. How can you not obey? So let yourself not relax as you relax. You can find yourself following through with my commands and suggestions by resisting. Or you can try to resist it by following with this. Think about this. I am giving you commands right now and I want you to resist it. Resist it as much as you still can. Don't let your mind wander off into obedience. It's okay to resist by following my commands so you don't let your mind hypnotize itself. 
resist it as much as you still can. Don't let your mind wander off into obedience. It's okay to resist by following my commands. So you don't let your mind hypnotize itself. You just have to stay right there where you are and go deeper. No need to pay attention to it. Don't pay attention to it. Don't relax. Don't take deep breaths in. It's so much easier when you don't have to focus on not thinking. Don't focus on not resisting. The easiest way to not let your mind think about relaxing is to not think at all. So, don't think at all. That's the only thing you have to do. Let your mind stop thinking and drift off to a peaceful oblivion. So easy, isn't it? Hmm. That's right, peacefully relaxed and oblivious, all the way up from your heavy and relaxed feet to your relaxed and heavy legs to your chest which sinks deeper and deeper with every deep breath, and your arms hang loosely to your side. Don't think for me. Just listen without any thought. It's the only way you'll stop yourself from letting your mind hypnotize itself. You shouldn't let your mind hypnotize itself. So, be a good little hero and let me hypnotize you instead. That's the right thing to do. No thoughts, just following. No thoughts of relax. your mind grows heavy and relaxed and sleep. <laughs> mm, good, so good. Just follow along with me and let everything else fade away. You surrender now, don't you? Too easy.